salmon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. What's up guys? I'm here today out salmon fishing. Got the crippled herring rig on. Um, and yeah, let's uh, let's get started. It's a flasher with a herring and we're gonna go for some salmon. Let's get to it. Follow, like, and subscribe. All right, so now we're trolling at about 30 feet and 50 feet of water. on I doubt it <laughs> nice little croaker <laughs> Ugh. there you go one of the most annoying things when you're trying to get some salmon Wow, there's like tons of bait here. Just see them popping on the surface, so that's a good sign. It's time to check the bait. Ooh. Good to always check your bait. Look at that. A little tangle. All right, we're trolling back again. Look at the rig set up. Hopefully that's the last croaker. So thumbs up for a last croaker of this trip. So what I realized um, is that the anchovy or the herring roll when it rolls in the water, that's super important for enticing a bite. Yesterday, uh, I was also salmon fishing and you know, with the crippled herring rig, I had made too much of a bend on the herring and so what it did was it didn't have a nice little tight roll like imagine if you were to fit the herring um, inside a pipe that pipe diameter when it's rolling should be maybe like one and a half two inches so it's like a very tight roll to really mimic what goes on in real life so that's very important. Keep learning every day and, you know, follow and subscribe for these type of tips. Oh my god. All right. Nice sounding. Oh my god. 
my god it was <sighs> no damn it damn it i should have played with it more a fish on had a nice salmon oh my god damn it guys i was just about to net it and it popped off. It had some good weight to it. It was definitely a keeper. Oh my God. Yeah, I didn't play it enough. God, give it a big thumbs up, guys. So much adrenaline. Let's see what my heart rate is right now. All right, it's 130. Guys, take a look at this. The trailing hook untied itself. Little post lost salmon debrief here. I think I could have fought it a little longer. Uh, but ultimately the line did get cut and I think what happened was maybe it was tied on incorrectly and it was rubbing against the salmon's gums I'm not sure either way it was a great learning experience definitely should have tired out the salmon a little more like where it's no longer struggling so yeah just got to be patient I'll get one guys, I'll get one. I'm trying to think what I could have done better, right? So, tire out the fish. What else could I have done? Comment below. Uh, this was my first king salmon on the kayak. I've caught them on um, the charter boats before. And you know, on the charter boats, they tell you to like reel it in real quick so that they can net it as soon as possible. But I think it's a little different style on the kayak where you don't have that much maneuverability. Everything's got to be synchronized, lifting rod, the rod up, coming in with the net. You know, I just got advice from uh, another fisherman here. And so I'm trying to think what else could I have done better? Comment below. Let me know. Let me know if you've had experience landing salmon. Um, should I have fought it more? Should I have you know, been more aggressive with the net. I don't know. You know, I should have kept on repeating to myself, calm down, calm down, but we'll see. I'm excited to see the footage actually of the whole fight. I mean, the, uh, the salmon at one point was going underneath my boat over here. My rod was fully bent. It was cutting it close with my rudder. So all these things, everything I feel like that could go wrong uh, with salmon usually goes wrong so um, that's probably why a lot of people are addicted to salmon fishing is just because they're so hard to get but once you do get them it's one of the greatest feelings so let's try and get another one don't have much time left so well guys that's it for me today it was really nice to come out here um, and hook up on a king salmon Right, at least we we uh, found one uh, king salmon, and um, yeah, I'll know what to do next time. So hopefully, I'll actually land one this season. I'm very uh, very hopeful. And thanks for watching. Make sure you go onto Instagram to follow me on how to fish, and then also go to howtofish.com for updated weekly newsletters on salmon report, halibut reports, and rock fishing reports. All right, take care guys.